part of the state flooding is a possibility, turning many roads and highways into potential danger zones. WVOA 23's Sarah Macaluso joins us live from the newsroom with more. Sarah. That's right, Tamika. The National Weather Service is making sure you know how to stay safe in case flooding comes our way. Turn around, don't drown. It's a simple concept that the National Weather Service is advising residents across the southeast to take seriously. We've already seen fatalities in direct response to cars, to vehicles driving through flooded waters. And uh, what we always tell people, turn around, don't drown. Don't take a chance. It does not take much water to lift a vehicle off the roadways, especially when you have current added to that. As the storm system moves east, parts of southwest Alabama are most at risk. Our main concern for flooding is going to be over southwest Alabama. Sumter, Marengo County is the primary target zone for flooding. It's already happened over the past 24 hours, and I think that threat will continue as we go into the first half of the weekend. According to the National Weather Service, flash floods can occur within minutes without any sign of rain. The National Weather Service suggests first creating a plan with your family and friends in the event of a disaster. It's important to know your risk. Is your home, business, or school in a floodplain? If so, prepare your home. Use sandbags or other materials to protect your home from floodwaters. Make sure your cell phone and portable radios are charged in case you lose power. And finally, if it is likely your home will flood, the National Weather Service suggests evacuating to a predetermined location that's safe and dry. And you can stay connected with your local forecast as WVUA 23 will have the latest on air and online at WVUA23.com. Live in the studio, I'm Sarah Macaluso, WVUA 23 News.